Hey everyone, Mike Sherbakov here, founder of The Greatness Foundation. I'm so grateful to be working with FitLife TV to bring you another Mindset Monday. And today's lesson is all about love and fearlessness and actually being like a kid. So if you notice the kids playing behind me or if you've noticed when you were a young kid, how you just ran up and, and went for it, right? If there was someone that you were interested in, you ran right up to him and gave him a hug. Now what happens as we start to grow up and become adults? Fear starts kicking in, stories start coming in around why we're not good enough or why we can't do this or why we can't talk to that person or why we can't go for the things that, we're, that are interesting to us or that we're excited about. So I'll give you an analogy. If I gave you the task to walk across a plank that was the width of a yoga mat, let's say this wide, and I laid it down on the ground 20 feet long, could you walk across it? Most of you will say, yeah, absolutely, that's easy. Now, what if you took that exact same plank and now you put it up a hundred stories off the ground. Now what happens? Well, fear kicks in. The context of the situation kicks in. The what if this happens kicks in. It's the exact same task. The one that you know that you can do when it was on the ground, but because of the stories, now you can't. So this is something to think about. Have you created stories in your mind around what you can or cannot do? And a statistic that always fascinated me was how many attempts an average person will try something before they give up? Do you know the answer? Well, the answer is 0.8. What does that mean? That means that the average person actually does not attempt something before they give up on it. In their mind, they've already given up before they even attempt it. And the reason that this happens is because the fear kicks in. The stories around why you can't do it or what will happen if this happens kicks in. I can't do it. I can't do it, Squidward. Can you bring it back down to the ground, create it, and understand that this is something that you are very capable of? That's the practice for the day. Bring it back to the ground, take the first step, and make it happen. Again, I'm Mike Sherbakov, founder of The Greatness Foundation. Grateful to be working with FitLife TV, and remember, we're in this together.